Happy Friday, everyone. I woke up in a good mood and wanting to spend time in the Word of God. So I turned on the TV, but before I did all that, I prayed to God. I asked him, how can I serve you today, Lord Jesus, and how can I serve your people? So then I made a cup of tea, which it's empty, empty black tea. And I turned on my TV, and I first video that popped up was a Joyce Myers video. And I said, hmm, let me see what she has to say today. I happen to like her. So I gathered some scriptures, and the video pretty much was talking about a troubled heart. So... Do not let your heart be troubled, folks. Yes, we're still in the middle of the pandemic, but God is here for us. He wants to take all our burdens, all our worries, and he wants us to dig deep into his word because that's where we're going to get our peace of mind. He will take those worries away. They were saying December, January, February are the worst months yet to come that we are going to be dealing with this pandemic so i'm still out of work and i must confess and say i'm doing a lot of studying here at my house i'm studying my real estate and i'm studying the word of god so i'm building my relationship relationship daily with him and i'm actually enjoying it so I'd like to share some scriptures. So if any of you guys are worrying or troubled about finances, health issues, just worry in general, hopefully these scriptures will help you. I'm going to say a list of the scriptures now, and I will try to go through some of them because I don't want my video to cut off on me. I'm still very new at doing these raw YouTube videos. So John 14, 1 through 4, Psalms 56, 3, 1, 1 Timothy 6, 12, Proverbs 23, 7, Proverbs 4, 23, John 14, 27, Philippians 3 verse 10 and 11 Proverbs 13 Proverbs 14 verse 30 First Peter 5 8 and 9 First Peter 5 6 and 7 and Psalms 55:22 So do not let your hearts be troubled John 14:1 Four, one through four. I hope everyone is doing well today. I know for me, I'm just happy, go lucky, and enjoying my time here at home, not stressing about anything in the world. Let me reposition this. Sorry. Not stressing about anything in the world because when you stress, it makes things more difficult. So, John 14, 1 through 4 says, Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my house, in my Father's house, are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may go also, there you may be also, and where I go, you know, and the way you know. So that was John 14.1.4. Psalms 56, 3. Psalms 56, 3.
Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. That is Psalm 56, 3. 1 Timothy 6, 12. 1 Timothy 6, 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. This world here is temporary. We won't be in this world forever. But that's a good thing because Christ is going to come back and refurbish this world. And we are going to be conformed, really conformed. We'll have new bodies. We won't have sickness and disease. There won't be all this fighting and prejudice, none of that. So, 1 Timothy 6.12, I'm going to read it again. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Proverbs 23.7 Proverbs 23, 7. For as he thinks in his heart, so he be. So think good, positive thoughts. Try not to think the worst or the negative. Think good thoughts. Be positive. John fourteen twenty seven. John fourteen twenty seven. And I'm gonna read John fourteen. 25 to 27, the gift of his peace. These things I have spoken to you while being present with you. Yes, God is present with us. He lives in our hearts if we allow him to. Verse 26, but the helper, the helper, the comforter, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives. Do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I know when I'm in the world and I'm not serving God, there's no peace for me. But when I'm in alignment with God and I'm in his word daily, there's so much peace and joy and comfort in my life that no matter what comes toward me, I handle it differently. The world don't give us peace, but God does. The Holy Spirit is with us. So that was in John 14, 27. Now Philippians 3, 10 and 11 says, Philippians 3, 10 and 11. It says, That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death, if by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. No matter what we're going to go through in life, we're going to be resurrected above it. There's going to be a new us, a new life, a new everything. That was in Philippians 3, verse 10 and 11. Proverbs 14.30, a sound heart is life to the body. Proverbs 14, verse 30. 
A sound heart is life to the body, but envy is rottenness to the bones. So if you got any kind of envy or jealousy, give it to God. It does nothing for you, but brings the negative into your body and life. First Peter 5, verse 8 and 9. 1 Peter 5, verse 8 and 9. 1 Peter 5. Where are you, Pete? Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion. Seek in whom he may devour. The devil hates us. He is always trying to put aggravation. He's trying to kill, steal, and destroy us. So God wants us to resist him, and he will flee. Just call on the name of Jesus. He will flee. So I'm going to read that again. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seek unto whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same suffering are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. So resist the devil and he shall flee. First Peter, verse 5, 6 and 7. So that's just above it. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, and he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Yes, God cares for us. Psalms 55.22 says, Psalms 55. Pages are so thin. Psalms 55.22 says, Cast your burdens on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. Yes, thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy that I know enough to go to him with whatever issues in life. When I go to him, I put my cares, my burdens, my worries, because I have worries too. When I give them to him, he most definitely blessed me with peace and calmness. Nothing like the world can give. The world can't compete with what God can give us. He fulfills our spirit. So cast your burdens on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. Yes. Even during the pandemic, do not lose hope. He will sustain you. Go to him every day. I mean every day. Lord, this is troubling me. Lord, I need you. I need you. I need you. Please direct my heart. Direct my footsteps. Lead me in the direction I am supposed to go in. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. You are on the solid foundation of Jesus Christ. You will not be moved by the coronavirus or anything else if you go to the Word of God. So that's all for right now, folks. I love you. I hope these scriptures help you. I know when I apply them in my life daily, they help me thanks to jesus christ and his love for me i am a living testimony if you surrender your all to him he will bless you with joy peace comfort and knowing that this too shall pass jesus loves us more 
then we love ourselves and he is here for us. So until next time, know that I love you also. And I will be led by the Holy Spirit to share more scriptures with you. Rest assured, he loves you. He wants to know all about you. Cast your cares upon him. He will relieve you of all your burdens and stresses because he's the Lord Jesus Christ. He died for you and I. Until next time, stay blessed.